Attention was placed on animal disease recognition and response when personnel involved in animal health and public health came together earlier today. Placing attention on the two areas is geared at ensuring a safe and secure food supply through animals, while at the same time considering other factors. Dr. Mariano Bonnet, epidemiologist PAHO WHO in his remarks, said that the countries of the Americas for a long time have recognized that the health of humans and animals is fundamentally linked. In 1949, PAHO established a veterinary public health unit to bring together the animals and human health community to address animal and zoonotic disease of public health importance. Representative of the Food and Agriculture Organization, FAO Ruben Robertson, stated that it is known that despite years of efforts to eradicate foot and mouth disease from South America, the transboundary animal disease, which is one of the most critical diseases of livestock, is still present in some countries of the subcontinent. Its continued presence in neighboring countries poses a direct threat to Guyana, mainly through the legal an illegal movement of livestock, livestock products, and the movement of people. In addition, the disease is present in large parts of Asia, Africa, and Europe. And since Guyana trades mainly with some of these regions, the virus could inadvertently appear here in Guyana. So we cannot sit on our laurels. The importance of the livestock sector to Guyana's food and nutrition security is well known, according to the FAO representative. He further stated that Ghana probably has the largest population of cattle and small ruminants in CARICOM, and these species contribute significantly to the livelihood of thousands of farmers. The introduction of foot and mouth disease in Guyana would undoubtedly undermine not only food security, but also national economic development and rural livelihood. An outbreak could be devastating to the country if it is not quickly detected, contained, and eradicated. The FAO is dedicated and committed to assist countries in controlling and eradicating devastating diseases of livestock. Professor Chris Ora, One Health Project leader, University of the West Indies, St. Augustine, Trinidad, in giving remarks said similar programs are being taken across the region with one common objective. We're taking into consideration, um, as, uh, uh, as was said earlier, the priority diseases of the country and then we're inviting appropriate facilitators to come um, and so we can train your vets and your first responders to, to, to improve the diagnosis, the recognition and the response of these, uh, to these particular diseases. The remarks were being made at the One Health Animal Disease Recognition and Response Workshop with support from the European Union, ACP and ECA and other bodies. Handel Duncan H. GP Natley News.